Hey, this is Phil. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe and follow. I am a grandmaster at fixed, progressive, and 1v1s. I'm a top 10 player. And today I'm playing fixed, 5 player with blizzards on the classic map. I'm not sure I like my setup because I have five in Australia, but it's not that great. So I need to get a take somewhere, probably. I don't know if I'm abandoning Australia. I just want to see how it shakes out. Okay. Let's take a look at my opponents. Elias Shield is black. 24 and 42, 19 hours. This person was supposed, was a human player, but they didn't ready up. So it's really four plus a bot. This is Calzone. Purple. A nice name. Uh, 2 and 19. Are they going to bot out? This is Old Freedom 6. 31 and 174. So, depending on what Blue does, I will go for Australia. I'll add attack down allow people to get their their troops out uh, not good I don't have takes out of these and that's where the pink bot is going in North America you're good aneurysm yeah I'm good good happy to happy to play risk I guess Not sure what I think about my lie on this one. Okay, so that person wants Australia. And I don't think they're very good. How crazy are they going to be? People are taking a long time on their turns. I guess I did too on my first turn. It'd be nice to be able to save my four in North America or at least get some value out of it. I think if Blue's going for that, then what they should have done is they should have probably moved over with their six to get a take and that would have saved some troops over there the only one next to me is this one be nice to connect my armies at some point i'll make an alliance with you europe has same amount of borders everything has the same amount of borders with the blizzards it's not that significant i really want blue to attack up out of australia attack to india Ryder, hi love your videos keep it up thank you Yeah, this is a rough set for a fixed game. So hopefully I can just like make an army and like delay my decision. And Australia was very loaded. Like Australia is a big trap a lot of times. I see you, but I can't do anything about it because of blue. If blue moves, I'll move. 
So if blue moves over one, I'll attack up. I'll move my six up, add to the six to create an army, hope to save my five in Japan, and eventually connect them. Um, at some point in time, I might want to consider this 4v2 as a take because this bot's going to take this 4v2. That's what I'm thinking right now. I really do need that 5 in Australia. Um, but if blue doesn't hit my 5, if blue doesn't move away, then I use that 5 to get a take. Because it's gone anyway, right? I don't know if blue realizes that they're really protecting purple right now. But they also might be thinking, hey, I'm deferring purple. And I hope red decides to move these over so then I can have an army. A lot of times if you see an army that is going to get crushed, then what you can do is you can use it to get as many takes as, that you, as possible. And that's a way of conserving troops, right? Because, um, you know, if I could get one more take out of this, or two more takes out of this while I'm adding to the nine, great. I think if I think it's too early for them right now to to take it because that six really could smash them and the 13 could come over to help and just ruin their game. So maybe I add to my five to not be too threatening and then I'll fortify that five over to Mongolia, so hopefully up here somewhere I can make a big army. Okay, man, you could have done that a few turns ago. And then I could have been safe with that four. That would have probably been my first move if I were that. I don't know where the 18 is planning on going. I'm gonna make alliance with this guy so he doesn't think I'm planning on destroying him. Where is red planning on going? I kind of want to not unlock their 20 now. So I have cards. I should have looked last time if I had cards. I sent them an alliance request so that they didn't think that I was going to come smashing back down into Australia. Because that's really not my plan at all. Blue's going to take Africa now. No one's going for South America. I'm definitely trading in my cards. I'm way behind. So I really just need a turtle and one big army and hope to survive at this point. Yeah, that NA position's gone. Okay. 
Make sure you get your extra plus two. Certainly important right now. Oh, they want to go take North America. Interesting. How weak are they going to make that bot? And now I'm blocked from them. They're on the other side of the map with the biggest army. Okay. So I'm not the weakest player. The bot's the weakest player. And purple's actually really strong because they haven't traded yet. Hmm. I could think about Europe in a little while. I'm going to make alliances with everybody. There, there's all three of them. Just so that nobody thinks I'm trying to, like, destroy them or anything. Good. Hmm. They're going to try to expand and get crazy. They want both of them, I bet. That's fine. Okay, now I have an army. Now I have an army. They would have to like team up. Do I ever play with alliances off? Yeah. Yeah, I do sometimes. Actually, um, when I first did it, I played, um, like when I'd play on Discord, I'd play with alliances on, just what everybody does. And then when I would play ranked, I would play, I never played alliances with ranked. So. I don't know, I've just kind of come to like alliances so that you can kind of communicate with people. Send them hearts, send them, should we do this, thumbs up, thumbs down. It helps you team. But yeah, I definitely play with alliances off sometimes. How much do they have there? 29? They didn't have a good trade. So fortify the three on the three. It'd be nice if red would smash all these pinks this turn. So then I could smash all these pinks um, if nobody else does and get their cards. But at this point in time, I'm not planning on trying to smash all of pink. Yeah, being able to communicate is is definitely important. Just being able to like give someone alliance and and tell them, like when I sent purple an alliance, you know, and moved away from them, I was able to just like communicate to them, hey, I'm not, I'm not an Australia turtle suicider, and I hope they understand that. So I think they're doing a good job because I'm going to take them out. So they'll have four cards. And I don't think red's worth taking out either.
where's red go? There. I could take Europe now. And I have cards. I had cards last time I should have traded early. Because right now, by not trading cards early, it puts me at risk of someone wanting to take me out. There's an outside chance that I could run through with my trade and kill red and be in a three player game. But it's risky because I have to go through some other troops. I would have to come through really just three other troops, four or five. This army is going to be three plus 10, 13, 47 to take out 39 plus five. I don't know. That might help. Could take a no guard on Europe. I like taking no guard on Europe. 36 now. So that puts me at 47 to take out 36 plus a few extras. But I have to do some splits. I don't like it at this moment. I like to double guard Europe instead. There we go. Okay, this guarding of Europe. Oh, hey, Carlza, what's up? <laughs> Um, so this guard of Europe, I'm not guarding my borders, but if they come in through North America, I can hit them with this 20. And if they come in through, uh, Asia or Africa, I can hit them with that 20. Cool, man. We're all good. It's a very passive guard of, of Europe, but if they hit me, I lose one troop instead of a lot. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Just happy to be playing some fixed. I haven't played fixed for a little bit. A couple weeks, maybe. What's purple going to do with that? Go up one? I would probably just go up one if I'm... They could kill red. This guy. Is he going to attack red too? No, just me. Hmm. And the red's going to get. I think I just take it back. And only one guard, because I'm not worried about red. Maybe I should have killed red for four cards. But they're like the only person that's like on my side. Interesting spot for that. Guardian against blue. I like that. I hope they do that. 
Okay, passive guard against blue. You watched my 1v1 and looked pretty rough. This curls of aneurysm says it was intense. Nuclear demonstration said blue wasn't wrong to attack me. Uh, so yes, the 1v1 was rather rough. I don't, I don't think I played particularly well, and I think Vicky Dix did play play well. For whatever reason, like all week that map I was struggling with, not on Global Dom, but when I was playing other Grandmasters. So when I was playing USA, I did really well. And um, hmm. This is where you don't get emotional because the emotional me wants to hit this guy. But that just ruins my game. I also could like go to war with red and like slowly take out red. Or just break blue. I think maybe after this, when he hits me again, I just don't get back. Yeah, <laughs> you said the same thing. Don't take it back and let blue focus on red. I think you're right. They have this other person on their border. They see me. I got it first, probably, is why. They see me. So I don't take it back. Where do I put an army? I maybe use my troops over here to get a take and just chill out in Europe. Purple could kill me, but I don't think that's the right move because I think that's good for the game. To blue, so that would be a dumb move, I think. Because if purple killed me, they'd be weak enough for blue to kill them and first strike red to win the game. They'll just, they're just going to attack me again with their one attack. That's what they're going to do. I'm slowly going to become the weakest player if this stays status quo. They let me hold it this time? Why? Why did they let me hold it this time? Because I'm letting them, because I'm not attacking them back. They could like triple tap, tap me and kill me. And purple could kill me for my cards. Well, my cards are crap. Taking the risk. Maybe the maybe the big army where it can hit multiple territories like that is more scary. I don't know. I'll hold it as long as they let me. That's an interesting spot. Very vulnerable right now.
Oh man, I'm in a weird position. Because I unlock purple. I, or I hit red to get a take on a one. Or I use a lot of troops to break blue. He did let me hold it one time. Blue is so strong. But I don't want to be the one to break them because they just go to war with me and kill me. Blue makes no sense. You don't think so? Anarism. No, I don't know why they're attacking me sometimes and not other times. And I don't like what Red did. I don't know if that was a very friendly move. I guess maybe it's just a territory grab. Moving them all over. How good are they? I think they're the good one. The better one. 24 and 42. You're getting it. Carol says he's getting emotional wants me to hit blue. And there's some things that's funny. I'm just like the stepping stone, but what do I do to get out of it without dying? Tell me to attack purple. Attack somebody else. Leave me alone. Is he going to do it? No. Here's the problem I have. Is the ones to attack are unleashing the 65, are breaking um, North America, and Red's the only person who has not hurt me. So then I take it back and then I look like someone they want to break. And I can't attack any of them without becoming the weakest player. Maybe I can get him to attack purple. Because if I could get someone to like chip away at purple. Yeah, OK. You do it. How much are you going to attack purple? Not enough. I'll hit their one though. Just to show that I play ball. Purple's the only person that didn't ally with me. Blue could kill me. And not destroy the balance of the game. But if either of the other two people kill me, they destroy the balance of the game.
I kind of feel like I want to put like threes or four or fives on these borders and just see like if people will leave me alone. Sometimes that works. And if not, suicide earlier the, through the 12 and 20 into South America would have been a very effective way to quit. That's a funny nuclear demonstration. Like properly guard my borders and see if they'll leave me alone. Or passively guard my borders is a better way of saying it. Just cost them a little something. to get into my borders. Just make them think about it. Tell everyone to attack blue. Well, you could tell red to attack blue, but purple's not my buddy. BRB. We will see if Blue still wants to attack me. How far they will go. Is it just... Okay. They left me alone with threes on my border. Sweet. Maybe that's going to work. If they do that long enough, then eventually I can kill purple and make it a three player game and have these two like right next to each other. That's what I like to do from Europe and North America a lot of times. It seems crazy, but what I'll do is I'll hold them long enough to kill the Australian turtle, become the third place player, and then, um, Usually the other two will eventually fight without ruining the balance of the game. If you can do it without ruining the balance of the game. And so for if those of you who don't know what the balance of the game is, the balance of the game is nobody has more than everybody else combined. Because then they can just swipe through and win the game. Yeah, he's thinking about hitting me. I think I have to hit that two because I don't want to unleash the 87. Like, just trade with red right here. It's pretty turtly. But I am still the weakest player, so like... No... No one really should kill me. Purple could, but they've had the chance before and they didn't. I just want to trade with you, Red, right there. Yep, good. I 
I would, I, I didn't really need to hit that too because purple got unleashed by blue. Don't make me wish I would have traded. What are they doing? Rolling ones? Why would you roll a one? Just roll over and come back. There's no reason to roll a one. That was dumb. That was really dumb. Oh, they wanted to move up? Okay, so if you want to move that up, what you could do is you could add troops, go up, move it over, and then use those troops the next turn to um, attack and fortify in to keep it as one big army. When does blue attack red? I want to save the wild is what I'm trying to do, but it may be a mistake. We'll see. So they spent all those all those troops just to save a couple. That wasn't a good move that purple did. Just to move a couple out of Australia. Red has a nine on my border now. They have so many little armies. They have a big army, like it's like small to large. That fifty nine looks like it's successfully deferring blue. So, and I have to wonder about their motivation with that 22. Like, is that 22 there to defer me? Is it there to attack me? Is it there to defer blue from coming up through, the, through that way? And I really hate it that red leaves that three there. But now they have a 22 on my border. Nally Cyrus. Yo, watch all your YouTube videos. Very good to finally catch a stream. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome that you, you watch. What's this going to mean? Is, this, is Red going to get angry or is Red going to stay passive? Oh, they're moving over. Okay. Have to use the wild. I'm almost to the point where if purple breaks me, I can kill them. However, I would ruin the balance of the game. I hope that these this 59 nails the 60. Aneurysm says, yes, yeah, we need to see action on people other than me. Aneurysm, can I ask you a question for um, 
my my YouTube knowledge. I saw a comment from you, but then when I went to the video, it wasn't there. Did you write a comment and then um, decided not to leave it there? I don't know. I don't. I didn't give me the whole comment, so I don't need to like know any details other than that. But I'm just wondering if that's what I was experiencing. You're gonna break me too. Oh. What I don't want to do here is I don't want to like stop this Cold War. I really think staying status quo, maybe, do I want to hit their three even? I don't think I want to hit their three this turn. I don't want anybody's attention to be on me at all. When something crazy is happening, like here in Central America, Venezuela, you don't want to do anything. You left, that, you left a comment, you hadn't deleted any, so I don't know what's happening with that. It was something about my 1v1, and then I went in and I couldn't see it. What's up, Pete? This is the first game. Five players with blizzards, but then we had a bot, so it was really four. four. Yeah, it was the 1v1 video. So red broke... How am I looking with purple? We're dead even, me and purple. Pete's here, everybody run. Right, do you two play next? Curls and Pete do? Okay, if he pulls back that two, I can use my three to, to make an attack. He didn't. I don't want to block my 108. I want that to be free to and to be able to capitalize on. I don't really want to do that either. I think I want to hit, just hit this too. Yeah, I want it to be free to possibly clean up. I do somewhat worry that purple is going to get strong again. These guys are literally just throwing. Oh, snap. Okay, so where are we at? I take Europe, maybe? That really changes the game. Definitely could kill red if I was if if I had the the open the opening to do that. Blue should probably kill red no matter what. And then if I can get purple blocked at some point and my army free. I could kill blue. As long as purple doesn't have a bunch of cards. But then where would I block? I could own two continents with three spots, Ural, North America, North Africa, and Iceland. Why wouldn't you kill red? I 
think I kill right now and get their cards. Or do I let this war continue? I think I let this war continue. Let's see if Red's bought it out. Because Red's going to get troops and cards. And probably throw them all into blue. So I think it would have been dumb to kill Red there. Yeah. That was the right decision. They're even weaker. So the balance of the game is starting to get to where it may hinge. There's five cards here, but there's a lot of troops. Purple's slightly stronger than me. I don't know if you want to break. Yeah, they want to break me because I'm being passive. Okay. Take Europe and hope purple doesn't attack you. Good. Giving me a troop advantage in the end. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm not unblocking them anymore. I'm not unblocking purple ever again. Okay. These two have 74. And I could kill them and hold North America and South America and get six cards. And purple wouldn't be able to retaliate on that for one turn. Even with a trade, I would need like 20s. Well, if he runs out of time, that would be nice. Come on, run out of time. I think I can do that and then possibly win the 1v1. Run out of time, run out of time. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And I have a wild. I think I win this, but it'll be interesting. Mm, can't do it without the wild. Card advantage, troop disadvantage, smaller army. However, I'm going to hold North America and South America for a turn and get a decent troop bonus as well. So nine, I should get um, quite a bit. And if purple never... So if purple doesn't um, move out their 127, I just stay status quo until this army's big enough to kill him. I just take him back, move everything into this army. Take him back, move everything into this army. 
and maybe bust these both up to 24. Okay, they're moving out. So, they move everything. There we go. I think I should win this. These guys underestimate you. This is textbook, the trap. Purple is too slow. Sorry, when I get really into the game, I'm not always reading my, my comments. When do I rush purple? When they move it out, that's the answer. This is why you're a top player, Phil. Did you see that the win was there? I just keep throwing everything into purple. They don't know what to do. They're like, how did this happen? I take all their troop, all their territories, and then I hit their big army. Okay, they're giving me a huge bonus. There we go. How I saw the blocks and set that up as fast as I did. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'm attacking faster than I used to. I'm slowly getting faster. Yeah, and it had to be 22 because I needed to be able to do his 5 plus um, a 10 trade and then have a little more. So that's why I was thinking 20. I was super fast. Thanks. So I went on this turn, I think. I just tell him good game. And that's the game. Awesome. Let's see the rank of my opponent. It was five player, but one didn't ready up. So four player, fixed. Classic map with blizzards. Intermediate, expert, beginner. Awesome. Awesome.